the whole reinforcement upgrade it's easily the worst upgrade so the main thing and the biggest reason i would like to point out as to why this thing is so bad is because it says it preemptively hardens the chassis before collision eliminating the damage under normal conditions now when you think hull reinforcement like like a regular person you would think okay well it's going to reduce damage i take overall it's going to make the hull stronger i'm going to take less damage from creatures bumping into stuff uh, no <laughs> wrong you'd be wrong because the hull reinforcement upgrade only reduces damage when you're bumping into you know like bumping into the terrain so let me just demonstrate there we go all right so we did eight damage let's do it again All right, 63. We see how much damage we took from bumping into a few walls and such without the whole reinforcement. So let's put the whole reinforcement on, bump into this, and boom. We did not take nearly as much. That was only six. Not as much. Not as much. Not as much. So the, as we can see, the whole reinforcement mod reduces, you know, it reduces damage when you collide into terrain. We know that for sure, but it does not reduce the damage you take when you're attacked by creatures, leviathans, etc. So just to prove and back up that theory that it does not do it, like do anything when it comes to creature attacks, we're gonna go ahead, we're right next to the Aurora, so we're gonna go on and head over to the Aurora, and we're gonna talk to our friend, Mr. Reaper Leviathan, and we're gonna see what he has to say about the whole reinforcement mod. All right, so this, this is gonna be without the whole reinforcement, so just watch how much damage we take as of right now. Whoa, my goodness, okay, can you quit? 48, 40, 33. 25, 18, let go, dang, you about to kill me. 93, and then 85, 78, 70, 63, 55, 48, 40, 33, 25, and then he let me go. All right, so now that we've seen what how much damage the Reaper can do without the hull reinforcement, let's see how much damage it takes with hull reinforcement. So as we can see, it's doing um, basically the same amount of tick damage. It's eight, it's still like eight damage per hit. There it is, 48, 40, 33, 25, 18 yeah pretty low i think that might be lower than the first time he grabbed me so as we can see the whole reinforcement does not help with you know damage that comes from creatures it only helps with the collision when you're like colliding into objects and whatnot because as we just saw it did the reaper was doing the exact same amount of damage than when i was you know when i didn't have the whole reinforcement on so the whole reinforcement does not help with getting grabbed by the Reaper, it's gonna happen again. Just to reiterate, the tick damage is exactly the same as the first time we were getting grabbed. The biggest reason why I think it's so bad. But another thing about the whole reinforcement module is the fact that it says it is Seamoth and Bronsu compat. Can you get away? We're done. We're done testing. Watch out, bro. With the whole reinforcement module is that on it, you will see that it says that it is Seamoth and Prawn Suit compatible. Now you can put it on the prawn suit, but putting it on your prawn suit doesn't actually do anything because when you put the hull reinforcement on your prawn suit, it's only, you know, the, as we know already, the hull reinforcement only reduces damage when you're colliding into stuff like the walls, terrain, etc. With the prawn suit, you can't even collide into the terrain with the prawn suit. So let's, let, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna walk into this wall, or I'm gonna fly into this wall, nothing, no damage taken or anything. You can't take fall damage in the prawn suit either. So we're just bumping into these walls and nothing's happening. So you can't even collide with the environment in the prawn suit. Therefore, you can't even use the whole reinforcement module. You can't get any value out of it if you put it on your prawn suit because it won't do anything on the prawn suit because you can't collide it to anything. So it's a waste of a slot on the prawn suit. So yeah, you can't even use it on there. So you can only really use it on the Seamoth. So it's only really compatible with the Seamoth. And even then, on the Seamoth, you're not really gonna need it or you'd be using it because perimeter defense, like double perimeter defense would work better if you want like something to defend against creatures. Having whole reinforcement is not gonna help you at all against any hostile creatures on your Seamoth. So you're better off using double perimeter defense or literally any other module because there's a bunch of other modules that you can use instead of whole reinforcement. The only time that you would ever need whole reinforcement on your Seamoth is if you're going into like a super, super tight area where you're gonna be constantly bumping into the walls. And even then, that's extremely situational because a lot of the biomes in this game, even the cave biomes are super open. So it's not many places that you can use the whole reinforcement module. So it's a waste of a slot if you do decide to put it on your Seamoth. Whole reinforcement module is not good and it's easily the worst module, worst upgrade module in this game for your Seamoth and your prawn suit, just the vehicles in general. If the Reaper grabs you or like a Leviathan grabs you or something and it thrashes you around and it thrashes you to the ground, it starts like bumping you into the walls and ground and whatnot, then it would reduce the damage that you take when you're bumping into the walls 
but it still wouldn't reduce the damage you're taking from the actual Leviathan. So, you know, it's like, it w still wouldn't do that much. But other than that, that is about all I had for y'all. I just wanted to talk about that module in particular because I think it's super bad. And that is about all I have for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank y'all for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.